What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with the new MAC Aaliyah collection. Um, I am personally super excited that they finally released a posthumous collection with Aaliyah because personally, uh, Aaliyah was actually one of my earliest makeup inspirations. Her and Gwen Stefani were like the first two people who I would see on MTV, like TRL back in the day, and be like, wow, makeup's really cool. Look how fucking cool her makeup is. And like it actually kind of ignited my love for makeup in a way. So it's exciting for me to see a collection done in her memory. Mac was nice enough to send me the whole collection. I have the, the big old pyramid box here. So what I'm going to do is try all of the products for you today. I will do swatches of all the lip products. There are quite a few lip products. I have them lined up here behind me that are in this collection. Being that it's so lip heavy, I figured might as well do it swatch video style so that you guys get to see how all of them perform. There are four lipsticks, four lip glasses, and two lip pencils in this collection. So it's really, really lip heavy. Before we get started, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because that super helps me out and I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love to have you stick around and see you in the next video and the one after that 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 and the one after that. There is a lot of stuff to go through in this collection. So let us not waste any time and get started. The PR package for this Aaliyah collection is super interesting. It comes in this pyramid, which is so uh, her aesthetic. And the inside, everything is, ooh, there's a, there's a, there's a card in there, but there's also this silver envelope full of makeup. So I'm gonna pull the makeup out of that little envelope. We'll take a look through it and uh, see what we got. I didn't even really look at it yet. I know there's like a, an eyeshadow palette and a lip gloss or two in there because I saw them on Trend Mood. Uh, other than that, I have not opened this at all. Okay, so in this collection, we have four lipsticks, four lip glasses, two lip pencils, a bronzing powder, and an eyeshadow palette, and a really cute bandana, but I don't believe that is for purchase. I think it just came with the PR packaging, but it's cute as shit though. So the first thing that we're gonna do is use the bronzer so that I can just get my base done and then we can finish the rest of my face before we move on to the eyes. This is the bronzing powder in the color Baby Girl. It is a shimmer bronzer from the looks of it. I can't tell yet if this is an overspray or if there's shimmer throughout it. It has her signature pressed into the pan. I, I don't know how much I'm gonna like this because I usually don't like shimmery bronzers, but we're gonna see. I'm just gonna apply that to the high points of my face and anywhere that the sun would hit me using a BH number two brush. Oh. Okay, you can't really see too much of the shimmer and it's a very subtle bronzing shade. Um, I actually don't dislike that at all. I think that looks really nice. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised with the way the bronzer looks because I thought it was gonna be a little orange for me and I also thought it was gonna be too shimmery, but it's not that shimmery on the skin at all and the undertone is not nearly as orange as it looked like it was going to be. I think I like it. This is the Age 8 Nothing eyeshadow palette. It has nine colors inside. There are a mix of finishes in here. Some are satin, some are kind of metallic, some are matte. I'm gonna start by using this center color here. It's kind of a matte coffee sort of a brown shade. And I'm just placing a little bit of that through my crease area on a MAC 217 brush. I started to kind of build a little bit of a winged shape with that shadow too. I don't plan on doing like a winged wing sort of a look, but I kind of want that. Next, I'm gonna take this other brown shade right next to it. It's a little bit darker, a little bit warmer on the same MAC 217 brush, but I'm gonna keep it closer into the crease and farther out to the outer corner. I'm gonna use this purple shade in the top left corner. It is a shimmer, so I'm going to apply it first dry to see how it performs, and if we need to, I will add some Fix Plus. And I'm just gonna apply that all in here, in this main lid area. That works okay on its own, but I think it would be better with him Fix Plus, so I am going to go ahead and try it that way instead. I got quite a bit of fallout with that color, which is okay because I extra powdered underneath here to prevent 
dead from sticking. The color definitely looks more vibrant now that I use it with Fix Plus, but I, uh, I don't know. I feel like I wish this purple was a little bit richer. It looks a little, a little bland for my taste, but I, I don't hate it. I'm just not like really blown away by it. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this shade here and put that on the outer portion where it kind of blends into that wing and it maybe give it a little bit more like some depth and interest or something. I'm gonna take the darkest shade in the palette on a pencil brush and I'm going to maybe darken up that outer corner with it a little bit. That color is, is saving this look in my opinion. And to make this a little more interesting and give it a little bit more of a 90s vibe, which is obviously I think appropriate for an Aaliyah collection, I'm going to grab the silver shade here on a pencil brush and I'm going to pop quite a bit of that into my inner corner. Just applying that dry, I'm not getting a ton of color payoff. So let's try it with some Fix Plus. finish off the eyes, put on some mascara, put on some lashes, do the underneath portion, but we're just going to be using the same colors over and over again. So I'm going to just fast forward through that so we can get to some other stuff. When I finish it, we will come back and we are going to swatch all of the lip products in the collection. All right, now that the eye look is finished, I made it a little bit more smoky on the bottom and balanced it out on their lashes and whatever. It, it's not my least favorite. I don't absolutely hate it have to say that I don't think this is my favorite MAC eyeshadow palette that has come out in recent months. The formula reminds me of some older MAC shadows that came out in palettes a few years ago which were different for sure than the Patrick Star ones. They were not my favorite. And also for me, this is just a personal thing. I don't know everybody's preferences. Everybody's a little different, but uh, these like cooler tones with the matte neutrals and like the silver and everything, mm, just really not my absolute favorite. So I'm not sure if I would be running out the door to purchase this palette. It's not a bad palette. It's just not, it's just not my favorite. But now for my favorite part of pretty much any video, the lip swatches. swatches are done. I also went ahead and layered a bunch of them together because I wanted to see, you know, like how you can use them in conjunction with one another. So I used the Nevermore Liner Street Thing Lipstick, which is like the black with the little bit of shimmer in it. Uh, the lip gloss in, hold on. The lip gloss in One in a Million and a little tiny bit of the lip gloss in Brooklyn Born, which is the pearl one in the center. As far as the lip products are concerned, they seem to be really, really consistent across the board with the MAC formulas, except for one thing. I did notice that the lip pencils seemed 
more creamy than usual and I usually love MAC lip pencils to begin with and I really really liked them. The darker one Nevermore was a little bit difficult to get even across the whole lip but to be fair I don't think I would ever try to get a product like that even across the whole lip. It just is kind of a base layer when it's something that's such a dry formula like a pencil and also so dark. But generally, both of them were very, very nice lip pencils. Uh, Nevermore's a really nice dark color. I also think that the colors that they chose for the lip portion of the collection are absolutely, first of all, so on point for an Aaliyah collection and also so fun and different than a lot of the mass marketed lip products that we get when they are in a collab. I think they're definitely a little adventurous. I absolutely love Street Thing. I think it is such a cool color and I also think that it reminds me a lot of one of the Kylie Lip Kit shades that I bought because I really wanted to love the color and I really hated the formula so I'm super excited to have it in the MAC lipstick formula. A few of the darker lip glass shades, as you can see in the swatches, they don't go on completely even. Generally though, I would expect to put a highly pigmented MAC lip glass over a pencil of some sort anyway. I don't think that I would ever use them on their own. For me personally, I find that even if I use a lip glass or a lip gloss that's like super pigmented without a liner and it's very even, it's still hard to like get the edge of your lip line to be neat that way anyway. So I would probably go ahead and pair that with a lip liner either way. So I'm not going to take points off for that, but just know if you are looking to use them on their own, the darker shades do not apply completely opaque and even across the whole lip. The bronzer was actually a lot nicer than I expected it to be. I totally did not think that I was going to like it because it looked a little bit warm and I don't usually like shimmer bronzers but it's very subtle and it blended really nicely and I actually really like the way it looks on my skin so that one was a nice surprise. And the eyeshadow palette, uh, I don't know, I'm not, I don't hate it but I just don't love it. Like I think that I mean, the color selection is not really as exciting as I hoped it would be. The formula is not my favorite as far as MAC shadows are concerned. I feel like they're different than the recent MAC releases in that they're more dry, they don't sit as evenly on the skin, and they're not as buttery and blendable. I just wasn't super duper crazy about the eyeshadows in general. If I had to pick products from this collection for myself, I would 100% pick the Nevermore Lip Liner, the Street Thing Lipstick, and probably the Brooklyn Born Lip Gloss because I think that this kind of a shell, satiny shimmer looks so pretty and sexy over the lips and I really like the way this one looks. Overall, I like the collection. I feel like it hits the nail on the head as far as the aesthetic is concerned. Uh, I would definitely make some improvements to the eyeshadow palette and also uh, I would like to note that I didn't mention this earlier because I forgot but the pans in the eyeshadow palette are they're small they're teeny baby pans which makes sense because they fit nine of them into here but just FYI they're not like a full-size eyeshadow so it's nine shades much like a lot of eyeshadow palettes, but you're definitely getting less product than you would be with most eyeshadow palettes. This is about the size of a quad, so use your imagination about what you can fit in there. Definitely think at least a few of these items are super duper worth checking out. I hope you found this review helpful or entertaining or something, I don't know, pleasant in some sort of a way. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it because I would super appreciate that. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because I would love to have you around for further videos, different collections, makeup looks, challenges, fucking swatches, whatever. Whatever it is, I want you here. And don't forget to also follow me on other social media. I'm at Miss Quinn Face pretty much across the board. Uh, my favorite platform is Instagram. I post on Instagram all the time. I post on my Instagram stories all the time. Um, yeah, so if you're trying to get in touch with me, probably the way to go. You can also hit me up on Twitter. I answer pretty quickly over there. That's all I have to say for today, I think. I think I'm out of things to talk about. I'll see you in the next one.